creme de la creme, homie. Top chef, you know. I like my beat down low, down low, down low, down low, down low, down low, down low. I like my top lit back, lit back, lit back, lit back, lit back, lit back. Hey, holla if you like your beat down low, down low, down low, down low, down low, down low. I like my top lit back, lit back. I got you, nigga. I'ma show that nigga what to do. For instance, uh, I went to the University of St. Francis, played football there. Um, I'm 24 years old and I play cornerback. So, um, when, it, when it comes to football, what's, what's next for you? Uh, right now, I'm training for a pro day at the Indiana University and Ball State University. Well, what are your biggest areas of focus uh, when it comes to preparing for your pro day? Getting better at defensive back and uh, improving my 40 time and uh, just keeping my hips. Uh, they're already good, just perfecting my hips more and just all, all around game. Okay. What is your ultimate goal with football? Uh, with football, I just, I love getting better and competing. So I just want to uh, play at the highest level I can play at against other high elite players and see where I stand and just keep getting better and improving. So, um, you have you have a son. Uh, what's his name? And with your work that ethic and determination, what are you trying to show to him? Oh, uh, yeah, I got a son. Uh, his name is Braylon. He's five years old. He'll be six in March. And uh, my motivation with that is just I'm trying to take care of my family and football the opportunity to earn a check and take care of my family. So that's my goal right now. So that's why I use motivation is my family, getting them out the struggle, and it's helping them out as much as I can. With you striving to make it to the league, how's it uh, how's it impacted your personal life? Uh, you really find out who's with or against you because some people uh, don't have a chance to reach their dreams or catch some dreams that many don't have or many have. Mm -hmm. So you kind of see who's with you or against you, and uh, just kind of uses motivation. But you don't control what you can. So, you, and I, I'm a smart guy, and I know who my real friends are. So I know who really supports me, who's really there for me. Right. Okay. Nice. So, what do you look forward to the most when it comes to football? Uh, I just love playing the game and competing and getting better and learning from others and learning from your mistakes and all that comes with the game, the ups and the downs and mentally tough, physically tough. You gotta have all that to be a good player and to, to keep playing because everyone's not tough, so right. it helps you out. True. Okay, so how was your journey to get to where you are? How's that been? Oh, I was tough in uh, high school. I was a knucklehead, so my grades were really there right off the back, and I was hanging out with the wrong crowd. And my junior year, I finally got together and uh, moved with a family, uh, the Notice, who would help me out, help me study, do homework, and just uh, reach goals I never thought I'd reach. So they helped me out a lot, and my family always motivated me to do better than uh, a person that you don't want, don't want to be like in your family. So, right. yeah. Okay. So. Coming out of college, what were your opportunities for playing professional football and have you worked to reach those? Uh, I know coming into the season I had a lot of hype, but my motto is don't believe the hype, prove it. And I'm not really, um, I focus day to day, so I'm not really thinking about the bigger picture, NFL, Canadian League, Arena Ball. Yeah. I take care of each day, control what I can, and let the opportunity fall where they may. And, uh, so going to the season, I just wanted to have fun with my brothers that I played with. I wasn't really thinking about the next level, because if it had happened, it had happened. Yeah. So I just had fun and took care of the season, each game, each practice, and now I am where I am, training for a pro day. So it's all a blessing. Nice. Nice. What is one, What is something that every all your fans, all the people that are supporting you, what is something that they can all look forward to for seeing from you in the future? Uh, I'm going to give it my all each and every play, even if it's a good or a bad play. I put in my head that uh, my mentality has got to be stronger than the next person because good or bad, the next play is still going to go on. So if you come see me play, I'm going to give it all. Hustle for my brothers next to me and just have fun and just a positive 
attitude on that field, but know deep down inside that I'm fighting for a spot. Mm -hmm. So you still gotta have that dog mentality in you to uh, earn your respect and right. earn your spot. All right. Okay. Nice. And um, I think that'll be that'll be it for the interview. Appreciate it, Corey. Stay Hey, holla at